Hey guys, this is Pokemon Vault White, video number 51. In the last video, we, we we found the Plasma Frigate again in the Giant Chasm. And we're in this new section now that we didn't go to before with all these like little like pipes. And you gotta walk on the pipes and take the little teleporters to like the little rooms where you can unlock the little gates and get through to where like the big bosses are. So, yeah. Something like that. Anyway, we've basically just been battling these uh, Team Plasma Grunts and their Pokemon, and they're not very strong. Perugly? What was that body slam? Okay, that was fun. Uh, let's see where this will take me. Okay, um... Anyone who isn't Team Plasma is an enemy. That's what he said. Yeah, he sends out a Zangoose. Which is... A Zangoose, normal type. Ariel's gonna use Earthquake, and let's see what that does to the Zangoose got a big M on him. Uh, why does he have an M? Maybe his name in Japanese starts with an M. Foe Zangu's fainted. Next is Seviper. Oh, just teleporting all over the place. A power belt. Here we go. Alright, so I've got both of them on this side. Let's battle this guy. Now we just gotta get the two on the other side. Team Plasma Grunt, he just has one Pokemon, a Durant. Uh, Ariel. Let's see. Strength, perhaps. Earthquake. I thought I thought strength would do more, but apparently not. Earthquake doesn't do as much as I hoped either. Two earthquakes would have done it though. I'll just have to use another strength and yeah, Durant fainted. Ariel gained like the boosted EXP and whatnot. I already did that one. Huh. Okay, let's go up the stairs. Let's see, how do I... get to some of these other... other ones? Oh, here we go. There we go. A barrier is deactivated. Now I just gotta do one more, and I don't know where that is. But let's fight this guy first. You are challenged by Team Plasma Grunt, who sent out Swalot. Ah, Swalot! Alright, so uh, Swalot's a poison type, which means it'll fall to an earthquake. Just like that. I told you guys. Vile Plume is next. Trying to figure out where to go. 
guess I just always go back the way I came when all else fails. Already been in here. Let's see, so this one, did I... No, I'm just back over here again. I already went that way. No, just came from here. Hmm. Oh, but now I can't put it back. There we go. Um, let's see. I think I've battled all the all the plasma grunts. I just need to figure out how to. There we go. There we go. They're all deactivated now. Yes. Let's see, can I? No, I need to go back the way I came. Yeah, go up the stairs here. Uh, no, okay, not that way. There we go. Oh, but it's gonna make me go left. There we go. There we go. Alright. Let's see here. Let me just make sure that all my Pokemons are good before I continue on. And oh, there, there's Kyurem. And here's Enzolin. <coughs> and Zenzolin wants to battle. Again. Even though every time we battle... I always beat him. But he's going to send out Obama Snow. I got Kingsford up front because I knew he was going to lead off with Obama Snow. He always does. Kind of like Cyrus in Bloody Platinum. He always leads off with that freaking Earth Ring, but for some reason I never think to put my Lucario up front. He hung on with the Focus Sash. And now he's going to hit me with Focus Blast. Focus Sash, Focus Blast. Let's see. I don't know why I used Flare Blitz, so I guess I could just use like like Earthquake <laughs> or Cross Chop. <laughs> you know your Pokemon is strong when his weakest move is Earthquake. Oh. Let's see, Janice Ian is next against this Mamoswine. <laughs> uh Mamoswine, of course, the evolved form of Pyloswine, but Mamoswine wasn't introduced until uh, Gen 4. Which brings me to... You guys had to know it was coming. Which brings me to my question of the day. My question of the day is, what is your favorite evolution... Now, this is kind of a tricky question. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to word it. What is your favorite evolution of a Pokemon that was... Evolution or pre-evolution. Let me add that in there. Evolution or pre-evolution of a Pokemon that was introduced in a previous generation. So what I mean by that is like, oh, so you know how Swinub and Piloswine were released in Gen 2, but Mamoswine wasn't released until Gen 4? That's kind of what I mean. Uh, like uh, Gallade, even, you know. Uh, Rots and Curlia and Gardevoir were all released in Gen 3, but Gallade didn't come around until Gen 4. Kind of like that. That's kind of what I mean. So yeah, what is your favorite evolution or pre-evolution of a Pokemon that was released in a previous generation? Um, if you're asking me, I would probably say... I don't know, I, I haven't really put a lot of thought into that. I'm really liking Kingdra. Um, what I'm using Kingdra, of course, Kingdra was uh, introduced in Gen 2, Seedra and Horsey in Gen 1. Um, I like Glaceon a lot. Uh, introducing Gen 4 to Gen 1's Eevee. Um, Glyscore. I mean, shoot. I'm using a lot of those in, in this LP. Even Bon Scott here, he'll evolve into Electivire eventually. But if I had to pick one, I would probably say...
I would probably say Glaceon. I think I'd say Glaceon. So anyway, <clears throat> yeah. What is your favorite evolution or pre-evolution of a Pokemon uh, from a, that, that was released in a previous generation? Uh, put your answer in the comments. I think you guys know what I mean, even if I don't know what I mean. I know what I mean, but I don't know if I'm actually saying what I mean. But even though I'm not saying what I mean, I think you guys know what I mean, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Your favorite evolution of a Pokemon that is from a previous generation. Like, Weavile here is another prime example. Anyway, I'll sit in Kingsford now, which all his evolutions are in the same generation. And hopefully he can do some damage. Oh my god, we've all took down Kingsford. Come on, Nessie. If you can defeat this Weavile, I might change my answer to you. Uh-oh. He's hurt by the ice. No! Hmm. Oh, but Weavile fainted, yes! Awesome job, Nessie. I said I might. I didn't say I would. Okay. Um, let's see. How do I get back over to... The guy, the doctor. Let's see, don't go oh wait, I could I could have gone that way. No. I could have totally gone that way. This way. No, no, up, up, up. Oh my god. <laughs> I could have gone this way the whole time. Alright, there we go. Alright, defeated Zenzolin. So, let's see, this guy. Alright, can't go that way, so we'll go this way then. Oh, look who it is. It's our buddy Chorus. Welcome! Oh, that's by acquaintance, but with his research, by desire, I have I can accomplish, but I don't care what it takes. This means strength, but all the energy Pokemon trainers, and so be it. If you mean to have a merciless approach like Team Plasmas and force all Pokemon to power, then so be it. And yes, then so be it. That aside, I haven't battled many Pokemon trainers. Oh, but it's because testing the viability of this approach bringing out the full strength of Pokemon. Oh, so he thinks I've done an amazing job. It's like, come at me, bro. So, we're gonna go at him. Alright, Chorus. I, I believe this is our final battle with Chorus, who uh, I think we all knew was part of Team Plasma, but I don't know if we were actually supposed to know that. Anyway, he sends out a Behem, which I think is a Psychic type. In which case, that's bad for me because Kingsford here is Behem a Psychic type or a Ghost type? I think it's a Psychic type. But anyway, his Psychic was no match for us, so we were able to take him out. 3 HP left. Now he's going to send out his freaking Rotom. Oh, it is a Psychic type. I just looked it up. It's a Psychic type. Uh, he sends in the Rotom that's part Water type. I thought he was going to send in the one that was part Ghost. That's why I sent in Kimona. Hmm. 
super effective. Rotom have its energy drained. Okay, so I should go first now. Giga Drain. Awesome. Alright, good job, Janicean and Kimona. Next is going to be Porygon Z. Uh, I don't think Kingsford is in the position to take on Porygon Z. So I'm going to send in Bon Scott because uh, I know he's got Cross Chop. Uh, cross Chop. Okay, that didn't do very much. Oh, but he uses Hyper Beam. Stop. Whoa. He just he just took out Bon Scott in one hit. Okay, Kingsford. I know you only have three HP left, but Porygon's got to recharge. That's right. So you got the cross chop. That's it for Porygon Z or Porygons. Metagross is next. A uh, big Psychic slash Steel type. A bunch of Kingsford can outspeed it, but the question is, can Kingsford actually? take it out in one hit, and I don't think it can. So that's why I'm saying an aerial. Oh, it's got an air balloon too. See, if, it, if, I, if I was using Kingsford, yeah, I mean, yeah, I would have had to have him use Flare Blitz and that would have knocked him out. Meteor Mash, not very effective, I don't think. I wonder if he'll use Meteor Mash again. Oh no, he's Floor Restore. He's got Ariel down to the red. And Metagross fainted. Good job, Ariel. Wow, you got a lot of XP there. Magnazone. Let's see here. Metagross, Magnazone. Those are both Pokemon I've used in LPs. Metagross and uh, Storm Silver and Magnazone and Blaze Black. Eugene. That's what I called my Magnazone. That was an awesome Magnezone. It's like, ah, Eugene! And then, like, someone would use freaking Earthquake on it and he'd die. That's how I know <laughs> that Earthquake can knock this thing out. Even though, I think you can get one with Levitate. Which just, you know, being a, an electric and a steel type. Being electric slash steel type Pokemon with Levitate is, like, complete and utter, you know brokenness. I mean, that is the epitome of brokenness. And I already had something else on my team that was the epitome of brokenness. That was my superior that had the contrary ability with 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 uh, Draco Meteor and Leaf Storm. So that whenever he used those moves, instead of his special attack sharply decreasing, his special attack would sharply increase. So the more he used those attacks, the more powerful he got, which was <laughs> broken, but it was awesome. Uh, if I ever do like a best of LP, which I've thought about doing this, I don't know how or when I would do it, but I've thought about doing a best of LP where uh, I would use all Pokemon that I've used in previous LPs. I would, you know, my team of six would be Pokemon I've used in previous LPs. I would use their same same nicknames and everything, but uh, and doing an LP like that. But I think Kingdra would be there, maybe. Superior would definitely be there. Maybe my Heracross from Blaze Black too. I called him Boris. Uh, Metagross, Jolteon. Yeah, that would be fun. No, I couldn't have Superior and Kingdra because they're both Dragon types. So probably just Superior and then maybe Swampert. I don't know. I'd have to figure that out. But I just I just defeated Colrus here. It would have to be a Gen Five game so that I could like you know. They have access to all the Pokemon. Okay, so we've got to like get all this taken care of. And I guess we'll take care of all this in the next video. So I will see you guys then. We're almost done. Kinda. Bye.